has seen sees his opportunity. He attacks. Don't know about you, but this is me during a power outage. Jeez, no power. Honey, where's the flashlight? It's next to the vase on the mantel. Oh, no, here it is, dear. It needs battery. The light in the fridge is burnt out now, too. After last year's record number of windstorms, I purchased a small power generator. We used it two or three times last winter, then stored it away. When they're done with their generator, uh, they should be using a fuel stabilizer. That's going to keep their gas consistent, so when they go to fire it up this year, they're not going to be draining gas levels and adding new gas. If they can, uh, leave the tank relatively low and put your fresh gas in when you start up for the, this year. I would pre-start it ahead of time, before we get the bad weather, make sure that it is running good, and make sure that it is putting out the wattage that it should be putting out. Ted Olenek from BC Hydro has some advice for people who want to install whole house generators. If people have a home generator, if they want to wire it into their home system, they need to have an electrical inspector look at it. It has to have a CSA approved transfer switch. They can plug in the appliances directly into the generator, but if they want to wire it into the system, it needs proper approval. And if they have a generator, it needs to be outside, fresh air, not inside the home. And once your generator is up and running, Harold Maple says there are a few other things you should check. We want to make sure that your delivery cord is of adequate size for the power that you are using on the other end. Uh, make sure that all your extension cords are in good shape, not frayed, uh, that the ends are complete, solid. Uh, again, do this as a pretest. Uh, there's no better way to get through the year than do using the precautions earlier on. With these thoughts in mind, I'm going to get my generator ready for this stormy season. Reporting for The Daily, I'm Malcolm Chalmers, only on Shaw.